Hello and welcome to Season 5, Into the Dark. A new Space Engineers epic is just about to begin, and I'm happy to have you along for this journey. And as we are slowly flying in here, it's hard to tell because everything's so far away. <gasps> the twinkle of something on the horizon is appearing. We have an asteroid field. Ooh. One of the many unique features that is going to be part of this season due to a plugin. Something I haven't really used before. But as we fly in here, we have our starting location and our new starting ship, which I built during a live stream and we have nicknamed the Spectre. We're going to be using this ship to kick some ass this season, get some stuff started and explore all of these wonderful planets. And so, let's talk about what this series will entail. Pop out of my ship here. This season, it's been a long time coming. I put my teaser out <laughs> at the end of season four of what, oh, season five is going to coming soon. <laughs> yeah, coming soon as in like months later. Oh, God. But... We're here finally. Season five is beginning. And it is going to be epic. As we are using, if we look in here, we got plugins. We've got the SE World Gen plugin. So this is allowing us to do really cool stuff. We've got these massive asteroid fields, super high density but only in a small area. And what that's going to allow is the rest of space is empty. But that means that we can make these planets quite far apart from each other. As you can see, there's a planet there, and there's a planet there, and there's a planet there, and over there, and that's a giant uh, gas giant that we can't really go to because if we go there, it'll crush us and kill us but i also maybe that's a planet right there and i know that i believe that's a planet as well way over there so these planets are very far apart we're gonna have to get to some good speeds in order to trans to traverse between them and uh if we had a bunch of asteroids floating around in the middle of space we'd run into them and die so, we have asteroid fields. So there's, uh, as far as I understand, there's an asteroid field here, maybe a couple others, I don't know where they are. And uh, there's an asteroid belt, I believe, that is around the gas giant. We're doing this also with realistic orbits. So with these planets here, as I'm getting close to them, I gotta worry about my orbital speed, my orbital burns. How am I going to fly around the planet? Combining that with realistic thrust, such that if my thrust is imbalanced, you see how that's like nicely centered. That's why I built it this way. But if I was to, say, go to one of my rear thrusters here, and I'm going to turn this one off here with my build vision. And now I'm going to jump into my ship, and I'm going to push forward, just forward, no other thrust. You see how I'm turning? I have to worry about the balance of the thrust on my ship. It is so realistic. This is starting to be like Kerbal Space Engineers, and I am all for it. So we've got realistic thrust, real orbits. We've got the mod space just got real, so things are going to get really dark. And, uh, I'll... We have an entirely unexplored solar system to head out into. It took a while to get this season done, but during that entire time, 
the the season author nat the gnome he didn't give me a single spoiler all i got was that training world where it had the planets in sort of the relative right position so i could practice oh how long does it take to transition from one planet to another all of the story beats all of the encounters everything i have been unspoiled and i'm going into this completely blind oh god what's that over there well we're gonna check that out because i don't know what that is but i'm so excited just taking some footage for the teaser video which came out before this at some point there was like the forest planet there's an entire like water planet there's a lava planet there's these giant uh like mines on this other planet like all this really cool stuff that we're now going to get to experience together i hope you guys are as psyched for this season as i am because holy crap i'm psyched but we're going to start off with our mission briefing you have been hired as a troubleshooting expert by the Galactic Mining Consortium. Some time ago, GMC sent a survey ship, the Fregna, to scout the Gorm system and prep it for arrival of the slow-moving mining expedition fleet. After some initial reports were sent back with baseline scan data of the system, one final message was received that told of an anonymous anonymous anomalous there we go i can read reading picked up on a long range scans after that message the frenga went dark Ooh, how mysterious your mission is survey the system the mef needs gps data for as many major ore deposits as possible across the planets of the system including asteroid groupings Re-establish contact with the Fregna. So it's got to be out there somewhere. we got to find it. And eliminate or neutralize any security risks before this fleet arrives. Hostile forces are not expected, as there are no records of previous scouting missions or colonization attempts of the system. But it's best to be prepared. All right. So our job here survey the system, go to each planet, mark those ore deposits, find the Fregna, and uh, take out any baddies, which I totally can do. What is that? It's moving slightly. Let's check it out. Um, I got a camera on this thing. We totally go to the view for the top mounted camera. Uh, da, 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 and zoom in. Some kind of hull of a ship. Well, let's check it out. We also have another signal out there. Ember. <laughs> Ember. Oh no. <laughs> Is Ember back? Ember Voyager. Hmm. We'll have to go check that out in the future. But for now. Ah, we got a, a lock on here. We are. 2.3 kilometers away from it. It... It looks just like a wreck. But I'm... I don't want to get too close. Although the, these gats are kind of nice. They can shoot out to 1200. They are good gatlings. I think I have them set up to only shoot at weapons to start with. It's just a pair of gatling guns. It's not like it's going to do a whole crap ton of damage. So, I think we'll come within, say, 1.5. See, there is a Gat on there. I can see on the top. And that's a large Gatling gun. Okay. If that thing's active, which I have no reason to believe it shouldn't be. Like, I don't see it flaming or anything. This might be a little bit too much for me to bite off at the moment. Considering the fact that I just spawned, I'm a kilometer 
away from the starting location. Um, maybe that's a bit too much to bite off <laughs> right at this moment. I should probably go and at least have a spawn location somewhere else before I start worrying about taking on enemy grids. As, uh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die immediately. But we can push on in here into the asteroid field and start to look for some resources, which we're going to use one of our first cool mods. We have the radio spectroscopy mod, which means that if we look at our little scanner here, which we've done with the cockpit, we've taken one of the uh, left screen and we set it to script radio spectrometry reader, which is the, uh, the, the mod. And then you combine that with a, uh, where is it? Yeah, right here, or detector that is facing forward. And we can stare at an asteroid. And you can see it's giving us the asteroid information there. So, it looks like there's cobalt in that asteroid. So you can see where the different lines are, and then they got the spikes. It also looks like there's ice on that asteroid, as you can see in the dead center there. Oh, things moved around a little bit. Uh, obviously there's stone, of course there is. Looks like there might be iron as well. You can see the two spikes on the left and the spike in the middle could mean that there's iron. So looks like we got iron, cobalt, and stone and ice. Yeah, looks about right. So now we can move on in and we can investigate to see what is actually here. In that way, I can just aim at a distant uh, asteroid and see if I even want to go to it. So I can just sit here and spin around and check asteroids until I find something with the resource that I need. Isn't that a convenient little mod? I'm excited about using that one. Oh, here we go. This is the space just got real mod. Normally, without this mod, you'd be able to see the backside of the asteroid. Yes, it would be dark, and I'm doing finger quotes when I say that, but you would be able to see it. I can't see shit. It's so dark. So, we need some spotlights and some really good spotlights from the MA Spotlights Pack because, holy crap, it's going to get dark in this world. And we're going to have to be able to light it up somehow. Uh, is that an ore right there? Uh, or is that just discolored stone? I do not know. Hm. Alright, let's keep searching. Oh, there's some ore. Yo, definitely. As soon as I say that, around the corner, and there is some ore. Some cobalt! Yes! So our little spectrometer was right. There, ain't, there is cobalt here. Oh, God. Come on. Stop. Ship. This is a... <laughs> it's just a starter ship. It's only ions. It's not that agile. <laughs> But we will just tuck up on in here and uh, uh, GPS some cobalt. Uh, I don't need it yet. I don't even have a, a refinery or assembler yet. But it, I think for the first bit here, I'm just going to have to do a little bit of surveying. I do have a little bit of starting materials. I have... One H O2 H2 full of ice, 300 steel plates, and 20 spare, as well as an additional 10 in my two Gatling guns. So I have an okay amount of ammo, and I have enough plate to at least place a uh, starting platform. Probably not build it out completely there. Ooh, ooh, what's that? Ooh. Oh, totally, we're going into this dark, scary tunnel. Absolutely, we have to. 
Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> that looks so cool. Hell yes. Oh, I could totally live in here. I'd be so safe in here. And we got some nickel. Pause up and plate down for nickel. And continue marking these points. More nickel, more cobalt. And does this tunnel go all the way through or does it end? Oh, this tunnel ends. Dude, I I could actually use this tunnel. I want to do something quick here. Uh I want to turn off all of my lights except for the the flashlight the the spotlight at the front. God, that looks so good with space just got real. You just have the, the glow of the thrusters and the f headlights out the front. Oh, beautiful. Now, I totally could live in here. I could do, I could do like a, oh God, what season was that? Two? Where I made the spinning reactor core? In the the asteroid? I could do that again. I theoretically could. I could live in the asteroid. Uh it looks big enough for me to build something of a base inside of it. I'd want to survey the outside of it and make sure it was uh large enough, but I could theoretically work in that asteroid. Oh, but I see right there. Iron! Ooh. Iron and cobalt right on the surface. Oh, and there's some more materials there right on the surface. That's uh, some nickel. And there's some, some cobalt down that way. Very nice. Oh, it's actually really nice to have a camera. I'm able to pick off these... Uh, so many resources just right out in the open. <gasps> My god, this is so nice. Uh, that looks like maybe some... Some ice, maybe. Damn. Alright, we got some good starting resources here. I think what we need to do... Is living in the inside... Is tempting. But I need iron. And so I think we'll head over here... And we'll plop ourselves down beside this iron node... And see... What we can get building. Oh, this is a nice iron patch. As well, we've got some cobalt here. A space wasp, 42 kilometers away. Not something I want to deal with right now. Uh, it's a little craggy. There's no ice nearby, which is unfortunate. Uh, but do I need it? Uh, do I need ice immediately? I've got... I've got three bottles, and i got one4 I got 1,400 ice, so if I'm just worrying about my own hydrogen needs, I shouldn't need it for a long time. As well as this ship has two oxygen tanks. So I should be laughing for oxygen, at least. I shouldn't need to worry about oxygen for a very long time. So... Why don't I set up base? Why not? Let's just set up base here. You gotta get started, man. I only have access to the um, survival kit on this thing, which is conveniently right here, right behind the cockpit. Uh, access through the uh, top of the ship, which is a little uh, non-standard, but it's how I was able to get the shape working. So I... Uh, I can't use this iron immediately, but it will become very useful in uh, a 
short while once I get a assembler and refinery online. So I'm wondering where or how I'm going to build my station. Am I going to even attach it to the asteroid? Or do I want to build it inside that other spot? Oh, it's going to be too dark for that. Okay, let's, let's do it here. We will plop some spots down here. Uh, local grid. Free placement. There we go. Where, oh where, shall we live? Right in here? Right in this little divot? Why the hell not? Uh, let's just figure this out. Where do I want to place this? Because we're going to want to mine out that iron, but I could place it so that we could basically just walk off of here and mine iron. It would be absolutely uh, delicious. Because all that's going to be mined out in the future, so I can then build over that area. So we'll slap this. There. Perfect. That's where it's going to be. Welcome to my first base. We got to the iron outpost. So normally at this stage, I would be setting up a wind tower. But I can't do that because I'm in space. It's been a while since I've actually done any building in space, considering on my last... Uh, season 4 was entirely on planet. Season 3 was entirely on planet. Season 2 was mostly on planet. Season 1 was mostly on the moon. It's been a while since I've been doing space building. In a game called Space Engineers. Hmm. So, we need a solar tower. Which, we don't really need to worry about, like, oh, have to be so many away from the voxel in order to get good clearance for the wind. But we do need to for uh, having the arms of the solar tower so they can spin freely and we don't have to worry about that. So, yeah, what do we got here? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then, uh, rotor on top, piston off of that, solar panels. I think that'll keep it up and out of the way. We can make it work. Let's set that up. A nice half block. And then we'll come down a couple half blocks. And over here, a couple half blocks. And we'll whip out the colorable ones. Because they align nicely with the uh, half blocks. And they look good. And then we'll need a custom turret controller. But I lack interior plates. Which I can make in the future. It's not that important that I get those built up yet, but at least that is all in position, and that will serve as a wonderful solar tower for my little asteroid outcropping base here. But what I think I must do is, for the moment, things are as far as I can conceivably take them with the resources I have on hand. It's time for me to do that time-honored tradition of beginning of Space Engineers playthroughs and mine stone and go into the production here and go to the survival kit and set up like 10,000 ingots in the queue and then just mine stone mindlessly. Just time to turn my brain off and put YouTube on the other monitor and just mine stone for the next half an hour <laughs> until I have enough resources to build some basic components. But at least with easy access to cobalt, because it is literally right over here, I should be able to make grids pretty quickly and uh, have uh, some storage immediately. And then, who knows? Maybe I can... Uh, maybe I can retrofit this thing for mining. I wonder if I can. There are small ports here. I just have to move my lights. It's doable. I don't really want to move my lights because I like where they look. But it's 
it's entirely doable, doable to set this thing up as a miner. Hmm. Maybe that's a change off to me. Let's see here. Hmm. 600 iron. That's a good start. Let's grab... Ah, not 10 of them. Let's grab 100 of those. We'll put them ahead of the uh, ingots so we can get them uh, rocking. And we can get the station uh, laid out now as uh, we have some interior plates. Ten will be good. Ah, that's all we need to uh, lay out the rest of it. And I still need some uh, steel plates. Where'd they go? Ah, there they are. And, you know, just grab some of those. Okay. So, on my little platform here, unfortunately, it is... Sun is already setting on my little platform. I'll have to set up some lights soon. Or, ooh, what I should do... Energy low. Is I need to get into my vehicle anyway for my energy. Is I should reposition Spectre... Uh, maybe over here. In a position where it is shining its lights down into this hole and uh, providing uh, light for me. We'll just maneuver, 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 aim down, fly in like this, and latch our mag plate right there. And now, that wrong button. Look at that! We've got tons of light down here now. We're laughing. We're, we're just, we're laughing. So let's set up our base. So the basics that you're going to need for any base is a uh, refinery, a basic refinery, as well as an assembler, a basic assembler to start with. Now, it's a good thing to also have a storage uh small cargo container but we need grids normally when we start in a regular spawning ship we have a few atmospheric thrusters on that regular starting ship which then give us the four grids we need to put down a small cargo container it's very nice to be able to just eat that starting ship and you can have a basic platform out of it with a few additional um, bits of iron that you could get from stone you don't need any cobalt immediately and you can at least have a cargo container Thankfully, we have the ability to get cobalt, because there's cobalt right to the right, just like literally right there, 22 meters away. So, we should just be able to place the small cargo container without worry. So, where do I want this? Uh, we can put... I want to put cargo here. This is the f sort of where I'm going to be walking around here, and... Uh, We'll, we'll make it so that this line, I can have some room back there for some more um, components and tools and things. We'll go small cargo there. We're going to put basic assembler facing into it. And we'll put a basic refinery. Uh, either which way, as long as it is facing into it as well. And now, that along with a solar panel is my next goal which we can figure out what we need looking at it and going you want to do this the hard way write down everything put it onto a list go and add it or doing it the easy way with the build planner just right click it adds it to the build planner so we can just right click our three objects hop back into our ship and go uh here we see Add components from Build Planner into Production Queue. Two components cannot be put into production, which is probably the grids and I believe some small sealed tubes, maybe. Yeah, small steel tubes. That would only be made out of the basic assembler. That's another thing you can steal from your uh, starting landing craft in regular spawns, that is, uh, which makes it that even nicer but that's something we can make with the assembler as soon as we get it online uh, we're also going to need to have solar panel and I believe 
we should be able to make the uh, various rotor bits. And put those in production as well. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, though, is take the uh, this and move it to the end of that. Because I want to see where the seven components can be put into production. Okay. Then we can see this is the assembler, refinery, and cargo container down to where the ores are. And then it's the solar panels and hinges and rotors. Okay. So, again, we just need more stone. So, so something I just realized after mining for a little bit is that when I added the stuff in here again, I added the assembler and refinery and cargo container again into the production queue. So a lot of the stuff I actually don't need. But I'll need it eventually, so it's not that bad that it's, that it's there. You know, it doesn't really matter in the long run. Whoa. As the sun has gone down, or at least, I mean, does the sun really ever go down when you're in space? It's on the other side of the asteroid. <laughs> my, uh, my plan here of having my front spotlights to light up my building area is perfect. <laughs> it's working so well. But I think I ran into a logistical issue here. These guys are going to need large steel tubes. I can't make those yet. Not until I have a assembler going. And I can't make I can't build out of that assembler until these solar panels are giving me power. Which I'm gonna need to be able to rotate them to look at the sun. So that's not gonna work. So I think what I need to do is build a connector on here and jump start it with the uh the Spectre. So, I can just, I have two connectors. I've got one on the bottom, but I'm not sure if I have enough room for a, a platform. But I could conceivably just do this. And then put a connector on that. I only need it for power. I don't need to transfer you items yet. So, if I do that and I get a connector on here, which I can just... Grab that and the connector, and then something I did earlier. I, uh, X. God, right, I still had a bunch of stuff in my build planner. We can add that into there. Does that need large steel tubes? Small steel tubes. So we can't do that until the assembler is online. So we can't even build a connector until that's online. What about... Yeah, I can't even build a small connector. I theoretically could salvage stuff from the ship here, though. This takes... Has six small steels in it. This needs 12, though. So that's not gonna work. I could salvage small steel tubes, but it just feels... It feels counterproductive to do that. Maybe I get... I steal some of the large steel tubes from my thrusters but then if I do that because of the realistic thrust mod that I'm working my ship will be uncontrollable this is an interesting conundrum I found myself in I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to hotwire my grid here until the Sun comes back up and then I just get some power and it's enough to get my assembler working because we don't have wind That's so cool. Like, for batteries, we have power cells. I can't build power cells yet. And I definitely can't grind down power cells because I'll lose them all. Yeah, but I can't build power cells. Interesting. Interesting! Oh, this is really cool. I, my first real conundrum of the playthrough of... Uh, wait, where, where did that go? It went to my body. That's okay. 
Oh, it's because it was a small thing, and I need to go to the thing where I can get the large items out. Yeah, 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 that's why I couldn't pull it. There we go. But, at least, this guy, first solar panel is functional. No bulletproof glass yet. But this guy's here. He's not on. Oh, he's a little bit on. He's just a smidge on. Ooh, this is interesting. It's not going to be enough power, though. It's going to be that the grid is online, but it's not going to be nearly enough to do. Current output, one kilowatt. This needs 280, so we're a little shy of that. So I'm going to need to... Oh, how am I going to kickstart this grid? H2O2s? Need large steel tubes. So, that's not going to function. I, th I wonder if I need to go steal some stuff. Like, I could deconstruct a little bit of this guy, but then he wouldn't be able to fly anywhere in the meantime. I wonder, because there was that grid floating around. Um, there, of course, there is a ton of resources in that starting station. I'm not using that starting station. Just flat out. Just so, because I could just go there and like have a bunch of resources. And it wouldn't be, wouldn't be a good start. But I think in the meantime, what we need to do here is it, at least a couple of the things are built and functional. And at least the base has some amount of power, which I need to make sure that my trash removal is... Uh, good, we're not getting rid of stations. I think this should be fine. I won't get rid of this thing, even though these are... Red, they're dead for now. I want to suspend these for now, <laughs> just so that my base doesn't get removed until I can get this set up. Um, asteroid base. I think we need to go on a little bit of an adventure. Because if you see, we've got that... Whoa, 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 scrap? Something over there, three kilometers. Is that that thing I saw before? I think we have to go on a little bit of an adventure. We gotta release our parking. And we have to travel away. As there is hopefully resources to uh to salvage out here. Wait, that's something, isn't it? That looks like the thing I looked at before. Right? And there was also something down here. Wasn't there? There was some kind of uh, signal from this direction. Ah, what do we got here? 2.3 kilometers away. Locking target. It's something just adrift. Let's get into about 1.5. I believe my turrets, they're at 1.2. So I don't want to be getting any closer than that. But I don't I don't see any weaponry. Not obvious weaponry, at least. Uh, my two turrets are set to shoot weapons only. So, if there are we if there are weapons on that ship, all I need to do is close within 1.2, even if it's just a uh, for a short duration. And if if my turrets engage, then I know that there's guns there. But if they don't, 
it might be some free salvage. Whoa! Jeez, that scared me. There must be... There must be guns on that thing, then. Because my, my turrets are... Activated. Is there more? Alright, let's continue slowly moving in. If we need to, we can always pitch up and burn hard because we have four downwards thrusters. And that's our fastest uh, acceleration. Looks like some ion engines. A few things are burning. What we're looking for is large steel tubes, small steel tubes. Just to get our stuff running. And that should allow us to make some connectors and stuff. My guns aren't singing. This, uh, this pleases me. So why don't we head on in and see what is, what is this thing? As what I may want to do is like a Newtonian pass here. We'll go f like hard and we'll zip on by it here with our turrets ready to check the other side nope no uh no activation okay that's good that means even on the other side they didn't read any turrets and now we can just coast on in and uh relative damp into it a guppy Relative dampened to a guppy. And I need to relative dampen. What are we cruising at? Five meters a second. Let's see if we can bring this thing to a, a stop. We shall pull out in front of it. And latch onto it. Ran to a stop. Now you can see because I didn't latch on perfectly, it started to rotate there a little bit. But I think we've arrested its mo movement. We are good. Just a tiny bit of drift, but that's more than reasonable. Oh yeah, there's some thrust components here. This is good. This is some good salvage. This must be the the weaponry it was firing at. An interior turret. And it does have a uh, H2O2. Uh, no storage steel tubes in there yet. Uh, toilet! That's a good grind. Some bulletproof glass, some small steel tubes. I don't mind if I do get some of that salvage. Oh god, yeah. Inventory Window. Full. Let me out. Now, I have to be a little careful here. Um, if I cut open the wrong thing, oh, this is very good. Some medical components. Oh, I got a intact survival kit. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I can put a survival kit on my platform. That's so, that's so lucky. Oh, I'm so happy I got this thing. So I have a respawn point on that platform for the future. That makes me so happy. I was just saying, we got to be careful when opening up these H2O2s. Because they'll probably have a bunch of ice in it. I can't access it. But if I open it, there a big chunk of ice might spawn in the middle of this thing and clang the hell out. So we have to not do that. Uh, they've got an armory. Take it. I'm just looking mainly for components. This, like, random steel plate, whatever. I can make steel plate easy. Uh, power cells will just go down to scrap metal. It doesn't really need that. There are, though... I don't have advanced welding. I'll have to add that. 
we could conceivably hack some of these batteries. Because I could grind down that battery to a point where I only need... I mean, I've done it before. I did it in the... I, I did it from Escape from Mars a few times. Where I can hack super gently grind down a battery until I hit get rid of just the computers but not the power cells and then build it back up and it's a hack and it's hard but I should be able to do it so I'm, I might be able to salvage that battery there which would be absolutely amazing there's some large steel tubes that'll help me out how much do I have now? Nine large steel tubes. Oh, this is so useful. Oh, there's 20 in here. We got them. We got enough. Yeah, we should be laughing now. Grab a couple more of these components here. And I'll grab the turret, because I can take the ammo out. We can... Wherever the ammo spawned. There. Because it didn't have any ammo in it. Uh, this guy is broken, so you don't need to worry about that. But we're definitely not going to worry about the uh, ion thrusters right now. There's a bunch of thruster components here, which will make building a large ion ship uh, useful. But at the moment, they they really don't matter. I just need these large steel tubes back at base. So I can set up my initial processing, get some iron flowing into the refinery. Um, this battery looks like it could be some good salvage. This battery is a write-off. The I think the thrusters are good, and then the rest of it's a write-off. So we're just gonna mark this up. We'll just uh, go in here and GPS uh, call this uh, salvage guppy and we'll leave that there as I don't really have the ship power here to uh, haul that back but we should be able to head back to asteroid base here and uh, get it online. I'm very happy that I have a waypoint there. Be with the Space Just Got Real mod, I can't see that asteroid at all from this distance. Like, none. Not at all. <laughs> what was it take a look at my... my my spotlights, I can send them out to 360 meters. Can you see the asteroid? I can maybe see a faint line around the bottom of it, but that's it. That thing is hidden. Holy crap. Which is going to make uh, flying around in certain uh, lighting conditions uh, <laughs> a little scary in this uh, this season as now the Sun is completely behind the asteroid I can't I can't see anything okay, okay now I can see stuff my lights are starting to finally hit the asteroid oh my god does not look good oh my god this is such a cool looking say like cool looking world <laughs> Oh, it's so good! Alright. Coming on in here. And we're gonna park ourselves on our little rock outcropping. Illuminating our working area. And I think the plan is let's get let's get a connector on. ASAP. Because that's gonna be the best way to get the assembler and refinery going, is that I can run off my power. And boom, we're ducked. All right, 
Same as before, we're just going to pop up uh, three or four blocks on this side there, get a connector down, and uh, that'll be it. Once we're plugged in, we should uh, be able to run the base with no issues. Grab what we need, hopefully. Oh, I have like a ton of other stuff in my... my oh yeah, I have I had a ton of other stuff. It's okay, it's okay, I think we got enough. Yeah, we got enough small steel tubes. We just need a few motors, that's fine. That's easy peasy stuff. We just need two motors, which we just need a little bit more uh, snow. Back to mining, as always, mining. <laughs> that's that's the, the beginning of Space Engineers, as always, mine stone. Connector online. Hell yeah. So now we can detach there. And uh, although it's going to make our base a little dark, uh, looks like the uh, our proximity lights, our navigation lights, are going to be just enough to light up that uh, immediate area. And we can rest here. Dock. No fuel. Oh, right. <laughs> I I turned I have an event controller on here, right? That <laughs> yeah, it turns my batteries on to recharge when I dock with something on the bottom. <laughs> so I just have to turn off my recharge. But there we go! The base is online. We should be able to use, uh, we should be able to go pure iron now. Get a load of iron. And we should be able to reach through the cargo container and plop some iron into it. And the refinery's gonna... Oh, so fast. So elegant. So powerful. And we can do the same thing over here with the cobalt, which I can't see, but now we can. Grab a single load of cobalt and uh, plop it into here. And we should be able to. I'll just start the cobalt now. Grab that iron, throw it into the basic assembler, and now we can make our, our large shield tubes. I don't know how many. Just make 30 for now. And soon, soon, we'll be able to make our four grids, which we just need four coal. A little bit of nickel as well, so we'll have to find some of that. Well, we can steal some uh, nickel from the other ship who has, or we're finding the stone. There we go, that's enough cobalt. Yep, just need six nickel, which grab through here. Rotor online. Might as well get rotor part as well. Got the hinge. And just need some construction components. That's easy peasy. Hinge part. We have a solar panel, which just needs some bulletproof. We can get that in a bit here. But we just need small steels and metal grids. So, we have that. And we have a cargo container now. Hell yeah! Yeah! We have a semi functional base. <laughs> and with this, we can also, because we salvaged it, we can get that survival kit on here, which will be very crucial for our long term survival. Uh, although first, I think I'm just going to, uh, uh, no, not coming through there. Oh, that's in the basic assembler, sorry. Wrong thing. We want the stuff from the ship. We should just start just transferring all of the materials in here, uh, from the ship here and down to the, uh, the platform. And there we go. Aside from the ammo and the ice and such, which we'll leave all here. This platform 
now has all of my materials on it, which is a, a wonderful feeling. Refinery kicking some ass as well. Getting everything done up. All right, so now we can get that uh, survival kit. Nothing on the build planner. Just right uh, middle click when you've got the thing out. Slap it down and build it up. Mm. Beautiful. And I now have a place where I could respawn out here. Now, uh, production. Ooh, scavenger bot material. AI enabled. Ooh. I haven't used AI enabled before. This will be interesting. But I can make power cells. I do need silicon. I don't have very much of that. But I can find that for sure. How much do I have? I got 200 of it. Nice. I'm laughing with silicon, actually. So I can build a battery for this base, which is probably the next step. Because while these things are going to have solar access for a good portion of the day, it's not the entire day. So we're going to have to uh, get a... That's got a warfare battery. They need to look awesome. We'll slap that bad boy down there. Yeah, there's no conveyor access in that area, so we can slap the warfare battery down to fill in that void. And, uh, get the rest of the material. Nope, don't have it. Put it into production. And it should go, not to the survival kits, but to the assembler. Good job. And looks like we need a little bit more iron. But that's okay, because we have a refinery, which we can now feed iron. Ah, life is going good. Oh, battery complete. Now, I, I, I guess the... Energy low. Next thing I can do with this base is a couple more things. We need to wait for the sun to come around. But before it gets here, we should have our solar panels ready to go. Maybe not them all built, but at least we have the one. We should have the uh, turret controller. Because this thing is going to uh, aim them for us. So we can plunk this bad boy down, say right here. And we can uh, remove a little bit of this terrain. And make this look a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. I can sit right there. Wonderful. Twenty detector components. Can I build that? Is a really good question. Yes, I can. Just needs iron nickel. Perfect. Ah, lack of nickel. That's no good. Although I do know there's nickel over there. So let's go get some nickel from that tunnel. God, this world is beautiful. <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous. You can just see my little speck of light down there on this darkened asteroid. As I deposit a load of nickel. Immediately slurped into the refinery, which we'll put first. So that way we can get some of this nickel. Lickety split. And get these detector components made. With all of this uh, production here, how am I doing on batteries? Depleted in 23 hours. Ship power, okay. 
All right. Yeah, we still have 85% battery on the uh, Spectre here, so that's not bad. Soon, when we have this battery uh, somewhat charged, we should be able to run off of it in total. And uh, recharge the ship from the base. That'll be soon. <gasps> the, the light's starting to hit my solar panels. Oh, I got to get this online soon. Is that all I need? Yes, it's all I need. Okay. Custom turret controller. Here we go. Okay, last thing I need is a camera. Oh, uh, Shiza. Um. I wonder if this is, uh gonna screw me up if I did this incorrectly because there's no mounting point for this camera because I didn't make this a large block uh, I'll have to fix that <laughs> but I wonder how I can do this I mean I could just put a uh, top mounted on this side it's fine but that doesn't help me um, I'll just put a top-mounted camera. Put a top-mounted camera here for now. It'll function. It at least will get this thing aiming correctly. And then I'll rebuild that section later. Oh, I don't know which one is which. That's going to be the, this one, the yellow one. For that top-mounted counter. Okay, this is, uh... Solar. There we go. That's all I needed. So, we should be able to do this with rotor, hinge, solar. Enable AI, always aim at sun. That's really fast and frightening. <laughs> so, let's go to that rotor. Um. Can we tensor and the, the hinge uh, tensor? Thank you. Uh, same for this. I think I want it minus 85 plus it 85. So that way it's just not all the way so that it could be whacking against itself. So that way it'll just be that little bit of uh, Safety. Just that little bit of safety. And if you take a look at the solar, we're getting output from our solar! Yes! Um, I think they're making progress here. Uh, downside is, though, I do have to... Ah, I just gotta do it. It's gonna be annoying, but I just gotta cut this off. Because... I need to... Uh, I need to rebuild this. It needs to have um, a full block here so that I can put a a Kamura on it. Ah, that's functional. Let's repair the uh, tour controller here, which now needs its camera back, which would be just camera. And it should be re-aiming at the sun. Yes, it is. Hey! That works! And now my little base here has some solar power. Then from here, we can just do our... I got much... I got six steel plate. I need some more. We put some more scaffolding out. Get it into place. Move that hinge a little bit so it's going to allow me to place stuff here. There we go. Now I can get those four in. All right. Well, it looks like my initial base is online and functioning. We have, dear God, that was loud. Assembler that is functional, building me materials. We have a little stockpile of stuff.
And I'm just going to need to do some more scouting runs with the Spectre here. Get some more materials. I think I need a little bit of silicon. I obviously need to go back and get some more nickel and some... Well, I've got the cobalt right here. But we have the basic materials. And we have a functional little platform here for the start of season five. I am so excited for this season and I hope you guys are too. It's going to be a wild ride and I can't wait to see what's in store for me because I'm going into this completely completely blind. I am literally going into the dark. But that's going to be it for the first episode. Thanks for watching. And good hunting out there, fellow space engineers. <laughs>